Hey, what's going on, guys? Brandon Consberg here again from the Concave Studios. I uh, wanted to give you guys another quick tip for the day. So um, if you're having trouble, you turn your Pro Tools on, and you can't seem to get sound to come out of your speakers, your audio interface is hooked up, you don't know what's going on, well, stay tuned, and I'm about to show you right now. Okay, guys, so let's dive right in. Now, uh, if you're having the issue when you pull up your Pro Tools, and for some reason you can't get sound to come out of your studio monitors, you're not getting a signal to come through your audio interface. Well, typically what happens is if you open Pro Tools before you turn your audio interface on, it doesn't know where to send the output to, so it defaults to a built-in output. So what you wanna do is scroll up here to the setup menu, scroll down to the playback engine, and under this playback engine tab, you see right now it says built-in output. So if we hit play, right now all we're getting is sound to come out of the computer, the iMac, right? And so to change that to our interface, we need to go to that setup, to the playback engine, and change this built-in output to whatever audio interface that you use. In my case, it's the universal audio. So we're gonna click that. It'll say the session's gonna close and reopen automatically. Is this okay? Just hit yes. And as soon as that screen pops away, you wanna hit okay on this menu and just give it a few seconds and it'll pop right back up, okay? So once it pops up, you can hit play and everything's good. So now you're getting sound coming through your audio interface, it's going out of your studio monitors and you're back ready to go to record, to monitor your song, to mix it, whatever you need. So hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, if you guys like the video, please subscribe. Uh, hit the like button, share, and comment. Look forward to the next tutorial soon. So stay tuned. Peace and love, y'all. See ya. Hey. Yeah. Yeah.